Okay. I idly wonder where to begin looking for Piper, but as a loud crash followed by a pained squeal rings out just around the corner, I think I might be in luck. Okay, see, there it is. I knew she'd be screaming wherever she was. <laughs> sure enough, I only need to take a few steps, and I find Piper She didn't scream. I think the weaselly her. young man was screaming. Oh, okay. I thought she was, like, screening, screaming obscenities at them. Um, that checks she out. has him pinned, his arm twisted behind his back, and she snarls in his ear. Okay, ma'am. <clears throat> Fuck, what's her voice? It was, it was like a cockney, like... I'm gonna try and not make it sound just like Alphars. Okay. Touch any of this, this lady's wares again, and I'll cut off one of those grubby little fingers. Got it? Wow, Piper, feminist icon. The man nods quickly, and I don't blame him. Drop the goods, and I won't have you arrested for theft. A necklace falls from the fingers of his unpinned hand, and Piper catches it before it can hit the ground. Icon wow. reflexes. She's got them. I know. A She's queen. got it all. She's mean. She has fast reflexes. She releases him with a shove, and he darts off into the crown, whimpering as he goes. She inspects the necklace with narrowed eyes before hand handing it back to the elderly woman who owns the jewelry stall. Here, sweetheart. You just yell if that knob comes back, and I'll come running. Dagger's drawn. <sighs> the old woman nods, clasping Piper's hands between her own and muttering her thanks. Aww. Piper turns and spots me in the crowd, offering me a small wave. Hey there. What's oh, kicking? Oh, I love that! That little suit! Yes. That suit! We love the fashions. I love all those a rings. We stand a great. fashion icon queen. A fashion icon queen who's still got daggers on her still back. Still got daggers love on her that. back, yeah. Wearing the corset outside the suit jacket. Into Iconic. It. Purple. Love it all. Hey there. <laughs> yeah, that's yours. Hey there. What's kicking? What's kicking? What's kicking? Night kicking? That was impressive. Just keeping myself busy, considering this is the most boring night of my fucking life. Why does nobody like this party? It's like a dope She's party. Still working. Nobody's into it. She's on duty. True, you're in, like, which also cracks me up because like August is like, you're not on duty. Piper's on duty. Like August is already giving you favoritism. That's true. August like hates Piper and loves me, and I, maybe it's because I'm flirtier than her. I don't know. Well, I think even if you aren't flirty, August is just like you're my favorite now. August is the flirty one. August and, is the flirty one. And this one. is their like, way of flirting. They're not <laughs> open about it. <laughs> like no, they're subtle, they but they're very, the flirtiest. Their love language. <laughs> their love language is workplace benefits. <laughs> it's like this one gets insurance and the other one doesn't. <laughs> August is fine. You get this. dental. You get dental. No, fuck you. <laughs> she scoffs, tuck, tucking a stray hair behind her ear. They did. Just another in a long line of punishments, I assume. I'm being made to spend one of the only enjoyable nights of the year in this hellhole babysitting a bunch of incompetent juniors. Well, don't worry, because I'm here and I'm gonna make things interesting. <laughs> And the most exciting thing to happen is restraining a skinny runt's wrists for getting too touchy-feely with some jewels. That is exciting. We're we flirting. already know. I was looking for you. I wanted to spend some time with you. Oh, you did, hmm? Yeah. Well, that's awfully nice of you, but I'd hate to drag you around chasing petty criminals on your night off. I actually haven't done that much work since I got to town. <laughs> that would actually make me look better. Like, I did, like, one thing, passed out for an entire day, and, like, this might actually be better for me. It's fine, Piper. I'd be happy to do anything if I got to do it with you. Wow, laying it on thick. On to you, a flatterer. I am. <laughs> That's the second one today. I can't say I'd mind some company, especially if it's you. <laughs> now who's the flatterer? Are we having a competition? Yes, we are. Arm wrestle right now in the snow. In the soap. <laughs> because I'll win. No. Oh. I laugh and I have no doubt that she's telling me the truth. Then I yield. I'm all yours. Do with me what you will. Wow. Okay. I hate that I hate that you I know. I'm so sorry, and I wish I could surname. change it. I didn't know that this would happen. And you did, and you didn't stop me in time. I forgot. Uh, and I'm, I've never put my own name as the last name of the character, so it's never been an issue. 
just—it just never pinged I my it'd radar. Be funny. I didn't think you would come up. I did. You didn't think everyone would accidentally flirt with me. Oh, Hunter I, Robin, yeah. you have no idea. Every time somebody says Hunter Robin, my brain supplies Christopher Robin. My brain supplies and I'm not sure uh, why. the brave knight Sir Robin from like my Monty Python and the Holy Grail, like that scene <laughs> where he, like runs away. That's what I think of. <laughs> So, where do we start? Are you literally just expected to wander around until something happens? Pretty much, yes. Which is why hunters are such an idiotic concept. <laughs> We're essentially conditioned to be creature-killing machines, but when you get shoved into a tiny town like this, you end up doing the enforcer's jobs. Yeah, hey! Yeah, that's not our job! They are supposed to be the ones policing such events, but they're too busy sitting behind their expensive imported wood desks sipping wine that they can't pronounce the name of. She takes a deep breath, running her hands over the front of her coat. Sorry, I'm a little disheartened lately. Yeah, I would be too if I took my job. I don't blame you, it must be hard. I've worked myself half to death since I was 12 years old to become general, and to have that ripped away when I achieved it at such a young age. I'm sorry. But this isn't the time for such conversations. If I have to guard this shitty festival, then I'll do it right. Come on, partner. Hey, let's go. We head deeper into the market, sneaking, seeking out the busier areas where it might be a little easier for theft to occur. I can tell Piper is restless, her fingers twitching at her side, often reaching to check her daggers are still in place at her back. Yo, Chris, we caught a typo. <laughs> it happens. Okay. The, there are so many words in this game. Like, it's surprising I, listen, that there are so few. Sniff out typos. That's true, you are an editor. <laughs> yes. She doesn't belong here. The job beneath her. So, I intend to make it as enjoyable as possible for her. What fun. What fun. <laughs> what fun. I know you can't drink on the job, but hot chocolate is acceptable, right? No, no liquids. No liquids whatsoever. I point to the sand that sits before us, watching people walking away, clutching cups piled high with cream and marshmallows. Man, that sounds nice right now. Oh, I've been craving make coffee you hot so chocolate. bad. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Piper grins, eagerly skipping towards it and striking up conversation with the vendor. She returns with two drinks, extra marshmallows, and hands me one with a wink. I think I was trying to buy you a drink, but okay. This is all well and good, but it would be so much better with a dash of rum. She does kind of look like a pirate. I take a swip, the sweet chocolate a warming swip? me up in an instant. A swip? Yeah, I swept a swip, a sweet swip. Piper hums her approval, and she visibly relaxes, any tension melting away as she drinks. This was an excellent idea. I think I'll keep you around. Yay! So what now? We just wait? There doesn't seem to be much trouble. Oh, Sarah, you underestimate the stupidity of the people of Lunaris. I reckon I do. I'd rather take on a coven of corrupted witches than deal with these idiot townsfolk. That sounds fun. Actually, I'd rather do that too. Again. Oh, fun. Shall we head for the magical goods stores? That tends to be the place where the most theft happens. This is just like a convention. That oh, shit is expensive. We finish our drinks. It and is kind of like a convention. Crowd. Lunar Festival, it aka is, the convention. It's just a bunch of seller stalls. Aka yeah. the, the Christmas convention. The Christmas convention. You know, those really common conventions. We finish our drinks and move along, the crowd thinning as we find the stalls that Piper mentioned. I spot Ezra browsing the herbalist wares. No Alcar, Finn, or Omen in sight. Oh gosh. I hate that. I hate that. Where the fuck are they? They're causing the trouble. They're causing a ruckus. The three stooges are off causing some sort of ruckus. <laughs> and I'm not happy about it. Where are the three stooges? We have to go find them. They're going to cause a huge they're gonna, problem. They're literally going to destroy like a full stall or something. Something's going to get set on fire. They're, the something is literally like we're just going to be having a conversation and suddenly we'll realize there's like smoke going up in the background. Be like, oh God, has anybody seen the three stooges in a while? When's the last time anybody saw them? And it'll be like 20 minutes ago. And it'll be like, oh no, <laughs> they're going to burn down the whole town. Oh gosh. That stresses me out for- Ooh! 
That is so cute! Isn't it? I'm, I'm, we're gonna do this every time, like, legit. Like, don't even doubt it. Like, we're gonna do this every time. This is so cute. This color is so nice. This is a fun accessory. I love all this. He looks so warm. I love this. He looks so comfy. You just skipped his oh, line. Friend, your line. Oh, well. Your line was hello both. Hello both. I have a name. Ezra, did you forget it? Yeah. Okay. It's you Sarah. skipped your line too. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Piper nods, polite but unenthusiastic considering how charming <laughs> Ezra can be. Yeah, Piper, are you immune to charms? Ezra? This is your line. Where are your odd little friends? Please tell me that someone is watching them. <laughs> Ezra. Oh, they're about. Don't worry, though. I've got my eye on them. That's good. It's not, but we'll go with it. It's 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 good, though. It's What's good about it is that I can tell him apart from all the other characters. You know what? That's 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 the point. That's yeah. the plan. That's the biggest point. I mean, you're 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 a one person. Uh, I'm a one hit goddamn wonder. Yes, you're one- you're a several hit wonder, actually, because you have several voices. Thank you. You're a handful hit wonder. A handful hit. Piper doesn't seem convinced. Can we call this handful subtly. hits? Yes. Piper doesn't seem convinced. You've not so subtly turning to look for the missing creatures. They're not- okay, I know they are creatures, but like, come on. <laughs> They're the three stooges. Call them by their- their given names. Piper, they're at the docks getting a spot for oh the God. fireworks. You don't need to worry. I am worried. <laughs> for I read, like, I'm really deep in the fiction that there are three troublemaking idiots because I thought he was saying that they were setting up the fireworks, <laughs> like they were in charge of the fireworks, and I was like, God in heaven, who let that happen? <laughs> like, they must have, like, like, bound and gagged the actual worker who's supposed to be doing no, the there's fireworks. there's still time. There's still time. <laughs> there's still time? <laughs> It's not Casimir or the demon I'm worried about, it's that bloody lichen. Did you know yeah, they broke into my house the, the other night? Did they seriously? <laughs> oh, he, okay. He broke into my house the other night. Why? I stand in awkward silence, watching them stare each other down. Esther doesn't seem surprised, or bothered for that matter. I know they aren't a responsibility, but you associate yourself with them and people are going to talk. What I'm dying. Why? Why did he break into our house? Was she home? Is he like a pervert? <laughs> Are they ever gonna tell us? They mean no harm. Alcar is. Well, he's Alcar. I know all about Alcar being Alcar. I remember watching them burn that brand to his chest, Ezra. Oh, oh shit. She was there. The mood shifts in an instant, and Piper cuts back a shaky inhale through clenched teeth. I just don't want you to get hurt. This is getting like, this is the heavy Christmas episode. I can handle it. I can handle myself. I know. I'm going to go and find them. Take care, both of you. Bye. Piper looks guilty. <laughs> Ezra's like, okay, you made it awkward. I'm leaving. As I was like, okay, don't talk about my friends like that, bye. <laughs> Piper looks guilty, clenching and unclenching her fists at her side. Yeah, I didn't know you were like there when they branded him. That's like a big deal. I always do this. <sighs> Will you ever not flirt? No, the answer is no. Probably not. I take a step forward, her sad sapphire gaze meeting mine as I do so. I reach out and place my hand upon her arm, squeezing gently. She closes her eyes, gratefully accepting the contact. You're fine. I'm sure Ezra wasn't upset. I'm lying. <laughs> Didn't you see those big, sad eyes? Yeah, I saw them. I saw them. We're He's ignoring them. We're ignoring these we're babies. We're ignoring pretending we didn't see them or else we'll start crying right here in the middle of the soap. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> It reminds right me of you Right in front some. of my soap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it reminds me of Yusung? It reminds me of Yusung because, like, Yusung is, like, the baby of Mystic Messenger. Yeah, but Ezra's not the everybody. baby. Ezra, but, like, but, 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 Ezra but is, buddy is. Ezra is mom friend with baby eyes, and it's a horrible combination. That's the perfect combination. 
I aspire no, to be that constant guilt. Constant guilt. True. Anyway. He's like a loyal puppy, one that I just kicked. See? See? A puppy. That's a baby. I can't, I can't help but laugh. Oh yeah, that is you. I'm sorry. It's my turn it's to, to screw oh, it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. How the turns have tabled. Um, <laughs> Look how, oh, how the no, turns tabled. I think hmm. I think that Ezra is the youngest of them. Ezra's 23, and I think everyone else is older, maybe? Every, like, half of them are immortals of some yeah. kind. And then we got a handful of humans, and Ezra's... Yeah, Ezra seems youngest. Yeah, the baby. I mean, he did look quite sad. You did just kind of bully all of his friends. Piper frowns, but it's more of a pout. Something edging on playful. That helps. Thanks. Wait, did it? What did I say? <laughs> he did look sad. That helps? I think it was the How laugh. That help? Oh, we're, we're just gonna accept it. We're just gonna accept it. We're gonna accept that Piper. That make any sense. You need to click return. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> Get in the comments. I shove her, earning a smile. You are real ass. You know that, right? What happened to ours, Piper? She picks and chooses. This section got handed off no, to a different writer. No, she picks and know. chooses when, I shrug, when to use... My hand. Like... <laughs> yes, but I'm your ass. Okay. That's quite she the works. jump. That's like a huge... Yeah, like... You're basically we... like, I understand this is a date, but we could also be like, wink, wink, wonk. Like... Wink, wink, wonk. We could absolutely wink, wink, wonk right here in the, in the soap. <laughs> like, right now. Right here in front of my soap. <laughs> in front of the soap vendor. <laughs> well, a great soap. <laughs> she quirks a perfectly arched brow at me, lifting her head. Oh, you know. This is humiliating. <laughs> I clear my throat. <laughs> you do not do well with the whole flirting, do you? I really don't. Like, this is, this is not how, this is not how I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I clear my throat, sensing the mischief in her tone. The way she's looking at me, setting my skin alight. I'm going to have fun with you. Piper! Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being sweet, though. I'll be sure to apologize to Ezra next time I see him. I let my instincts get the better of me sometimes. That I would agree with. Piper clicks her neck, stretching out her arms. I'm restless. I haven't had a good hunt in days. Piper's a jock. She runs her Piper is a jock. <laughs> she runs her tongue along her teeth, contemplating I think her all the move. hunters are jocks. Like, are you kidding? You're playing a jock. Oh yeah, the hunters are all, like, like high school football stars. Like, <laughs> hands down. They're all jocks. A wolfish grin crosses plum-colored lips. Come on, we're going to check up on the juniors. No, but that, that raises questions. A couple of seniors headed over to those pesky juniors gonna shove them in a locker. Yeah, but, what? like, what does this make? Like, does this make... Does this make the enforcers the cheerleaders? August on the cheerleading squad? <laughs> August on the cheerleading squad. I had water in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's take this. Let's take this. Let's take this. We have to. We have to. Um, Alcar's a skater boy. Alcar's a skater. Alcar's a stoner. And he's Alcar's just a, a stoner class, and a like, skater boy. A month. Finn, height of the emo face, complete with a haircut. Oh, shoot. He's a Finn is a theater emo too. Like you know, you already <laughs> he's know. A this is a freaking like, he's a theater emo. You already know, and like, like slam poetry. He's yes. there. Yes, you know Omen what I mean? like kind of flits back and forth between like the stoners and the the, yeah. the theater emos. And Omen's kind of a floater. Like Omen can befriend anybody basically. Well, also right? Finn draws, so I think he's also like in the art Ooh. sort of thing. He's just like a very artsy emo. Just very emo. Just yeah. very emotional think, and goth. I think yeah. Ezra going Ezra. to keep it going is probably a theater techie. Because that I think Ezra see here's where I was going with Ezra in my mind yeah. is he's a witch. So I was thinking like science geek. Like oh, for straight sure. A for student. Sure. Yeah, nerd. straight A student, like that's how he met Finn though, is he's also a theater tech. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he has like nine <clears throat> extracurriculars. Let's just put that out there right yeah, now. Yeah, real, nine real. extracurriculars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, so does on August. On the debate team, so does August. On the debate team, they're both on the debate team. They hate each other. Um, yeah. They're like competing. Like August is so mad because uh, Ezra is like right up there, about to beat them for valedictorian. 
Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in, they're in neck and neck. Okay, so we're saying Ezra skipped a few grades. That's how smart Ezra is. Ezra definitely skipped like a grade. Ezra's definitely like on par with, with, with August. Yeah, and August, August didn't like August's him. parents didn't, like didn't let them skip a grade. It didn't let them skip oh, a grade because of so, like the, so the maturity mad. thing. So, it, so like there's that mm-hmm. level of jealousy too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm liking it. I really want this now. I need a high school age. <laughs> Harry's the principal. Harry's the principal. Harry's the principal. And what are we? Are we like the new kid on the oh, football you, team? Oh, you're, you're the new kid. You're the transfer um, who mm-hmm. came. Like, literally, like, you were kind of recruited to this high school because they were like, hey, you're good at football. Yeah. We'll give you like a really you're good, good scholarship football. if you come. Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a private school, is what we're it's saying. It's a private school, yes. This is a private school. Ooh, this is a private school. Now we're onto something. Okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done? Uh, I was like, in, okay. Well, no, we're in. We, we'll, we'll, we'll handle this later. We'll, we'll handle this later. It'll probably come back up in passing. I bet the little <laughs> kids are slacking off. Let's go shove them in a locker, Piper. The crowd's <laughs> yeah. appear to be shove thinning. Shove them in a locker. <laughs> Push them down a toilet. People be getting to head out towards the Swirlies. docks and the beach, ready for the fireworks. Piper leads the way, striding confidently, with purpose. She suddenly places her arm in front of me to stop, holding it there and pressing her finger to her lips. Oh, what you see, Piper? There they are, just as I suspected. We're gonna sneak up on some juniors, gonna give them heart attacks. She's looking directly at a small group of, well, kids. Oh, okay, I thought I meant like junior. What are you going to do? They can't be any older than 18, and the four of them are huddled closely, nursing overfilled bags of treats. They're laughing, joking, kicking snow at one another, and Piper is pissed. Just wait here. Oh my god, look, we're gonna go bully high schoolers. <laughs> Piper grins, but to be fair, sneaking I think they're off. I, okay, yeah, I, I'm, conf- I'm. it's got me confused. Piper grins, sneaking off, and I watch intently as she crouches behind a wall, a perfect view of her targets. She's roguish, stealthy, and I long to see her in the field. She gathers a handful of snow, molding it into a rather impressive ball in her palm. Yes! Yes! Hunter snowball fight! Yes! I'm ready! She stands quickly, hurling it at the group. It lands directly in the face of one of the boys, and the look that crosses his face is positively hilarious. One of them yells as they spot her, and all I can see is her gesturing wildly at them, their cheeks turning red as they drop the treats and make a run for it. She's still shaking her head as she returns to me, her coat and hair covered in a dusting of snow. Soap, sorry. (laughs) You're good. (laughs) (laughs) And there we have it, our future. There they go. A bunch of snot-nosed little shits who would rather slack off than save humanity. Are they supposed to be working? Is that what's happening? Yes. They're on the job. Basically everybody except me is supposed to be working? Yeah, basically. Okay. Is training school really that lax these days? They don't know how lucky they are. I'd kill to go back to school. That makes one of us, Piper. <laughs> We're like, done. We're like, I'm so glad it's over with. I was in my element there. Top of my class, training every day. So Piper is both a jock and a, a straight-A student. Yeah, nerd. I see. Well, to be fair, yeah, to, be, to, be a, to be a winning hunter, you have to be a jock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be a jock. She sighs wistfully. Killing things without having to write a bloody report about it afterwards. We can all relate to that. I miss school days when I could kill things without having to write a report about it. (laughs) Actually, I feel like in school, mostly I wrote reports and didn't kill things, but go off. Those were the days. Her eyes grow wide as she focuses on something behind me, and she mutters something under her breath, standing a little taller. What's behind me, oh god. Shit. That's yours. I already said it. Oh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I turned to find Harry approaching, my stomach sinking oh, as I remember the boss. I let oh, both the boss. him and August down today. Hey, dude. Oh, we're in our uniform. Oh, do you want to do his Harry voice? voice? I, we're, well, we're going to see. Well, well, if it isn't my two favorite hunters. Yeah. <laughs> I trust you're enjoying the festival. Yes, sir. Of course, it's wonderful as always. A spirit glance at Piper, perplexed with her unusually polite tone. I mean, this is our, <laughs> like, super fake. boss. I appreciate it, Piper. This is the mood. I mean, don't we all have a boss voice? Oh, for you know, sure. Like, Piper with full customer service voice. Oh, I should do a customer service Hello, voice Hello, how can Piper. I help you? Hello, how can I help you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> 
She shakes her head, subtle enough for Harry to miss it, a warning not to question her if I'm correct. Harry turns to me, his smile bright but curious. We missed you this morning, Sarah. Are you alright? No matter what I say, I look like a jerk, so... Piper throws me another look, her brows raised in question. Well, she Were you not at she the doesn't meeting know. either? Well, she's... she's she does, she's... she's... she's un underranking you. So she okay, wasn't so, there. Okay, so this was like a, a meeting of... of... So, uh, Piper, please respect me still after this. I smile politely, as apologetic as I can muster. In my defense, there were ghosts in my head. I do apologize, Harry. I have some things to discuss with you, but I can assure you my excuse is genuine. August wouldn't hear it. Please hear it. I'm so sad. <laughs> he stares down for a moment, seemingly unconvinced, but then he laughs. A short, sharp bark. Please don't kill me. You don't have to apologize. I have every faith in you, Sarah. Can we, like, split the difference between you and August and get, like, a normal boss? Because <laughs> you... You forgave me in, like, two seconds. I was like, I'm sorry, and Harry was like, no, I'm sorry. And August, like, I think August poisoned me. So, like, <laughs> if we could split the difference to get, like, a Harry August, I would be into that. Not an Harry Augury, August. An but, augury, you know, if you would. An augury, an augury, yeah, 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 I want an augury. Anyway, I'd better get going. It's firework time! <laughs> <laughs> that's how he, that's what he says, and that's how he says it. It's firework time. <laughs> I'm imagining yeah, what's that guy so who voices good. everything. Uh, Patrick, what, um, what's his face? You know who I'm talking about, like the Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, yeah, guy. yeah. yeah. Like, that's what I'm imagining. But like, it's firework but, like, time. But, like, yes, but saying it like that. <laughs> Kronk. I tell you, if you want Kronk voice, uh -huh. a Kronk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you coming to watch? I'm like stunned by that little song that he sang. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Piper interjects before I get the chance to respond. We're on our way there right now, Lieutenant General, sir. <laughs> Harry nods once, already moving along. Enjoy the show, and I'll see you tomorrow, Sarah. Bye. I think he hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Piper's like full of like moods right now because like putting on your your boss voice, your customer service voice, and then the second your boss leaves, being like he hates my fucking guns. <laughs> like yeah. I laugh, wondering why on earth she would ever think that. He was perfectly polite to you. What gives you that impression? Well, August is firmly lodged in his asshole, so I have no doubt that they whispered terrible things about me in his ear. All the way from his arsehole? That would be difficult to get up to the ear. It's sort of an internal journey. Okay. Very so, uh, magic so school bus. Up from inside. Very Ugh. magic school bus slash Ant Man and <laughs> this asshole. That's it's very. There's lots of things actually that have had a, an event where they went inside of people. <laughs> I'm sure August wouldn't do that. Maybe. Wow, convincing. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Wow, this is a great episode. <laughs> I look at her quite intently. It's a date episode, of course you get to flirt. I, yeah, I guess that didn't occur to me. I look at her quite intently, wondering how she stayed so strong. I admire her not only for her impressive body of work, I... <laughs> quote unquote, body of work. Almost misread that real bad. Her impressive quote <laughs> unquote, her body of work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, doop. can I do that? Yeah. But for her per perseverance in the face of losing what she loves the most, which I took from her, evilly. Piper, do you know how incredible you are? It's been ten minutes. Can I compliment you again? <laughs> Where did that come from? My heart, bitch. <laughs> I just see that you're deflated by all this, but I want to tell you to keep going. You're an inspiration. I step forward, reaching for her hand. She offers it willingly. Are we holding hands now? I may not know what happened, when, why you were demoted, but I know deep in my heart that it wasn't your fault. See, it did come from my heart. I was right. She squeezes my hand, a light flush upon her cheeks. I'm not sure if it's from the cold or from my words. Either way, she's beautiful. You got that right. She clears her throat, lashes dipped as she gazes at me. Oof. You don't know how much that means to me. You know, I wanted to hate you so much, but you're making it impossible for me. <laughs> Good! I bite my lip, shrugging. You can hate me a little bit if you want. 
Okay. Idiot. Be nice to me. I release her reluctantly, her warmth lingering. We'd better head for the docks if you want to see these fireworks. I do want to see these fireworks, Piper. And I'd better get back into work mode, just in case August spots me. Spots us holding hands out here in the festival. <laughs> Bye! We find a quiet spot at the back, near the edge of the market, somewhere where Piper can get a good view of the crowds. She leans back against the wall, gazing up at the stars. The night is clear, considering there's been so much snow, and she smiles to herself, nudging me playfully. Thanks for tonight. It was marginally less shit with you keeping me company. <laughs> Yay! I'm a little bit better than shit! Aww. I carefully curl my fingers around her wrist, and Piper steps forward with intent, squaring up to me. Are we gonna kiss right now? Only marginally? She bites her lip, her eyes wide. That's three lip bites I've counted so far. Her eyes wide, bright, beautiful. There's room for improvement, Hunter. That's romantic. What I love to hear on a first day is that I could be a better person. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's not what she was saying. Did you hear that? Hmm. No, I was talking. Was there fireworks sounds? Yeah, there's fireworks sounds. Mm. Suddenly, the sky lights up. There's Actually, one second, one second, one second. Oh, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. I have to turn the sound down because I literally could not make out a single thing you just said. Can you read that again, please? Yes, she doesn't... Oh, she... Sudden... Where do I... St right Suddenly here. the sky lights up, bursts of colors popping against a backdrop of stars. She doesn't tear her gaze from me, nor does she pull away. Are we about to kiss right now? <laughs> she relaxes in my loose grip, stepping closer again until we're toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I hope you know what Vine I'm quoting. I mean, TikTok I'm quoting. I, I know it's gotta oh, be God, something because you're saying it with too much purpose for it not to be a quote, but I... For... I it's like a... It's like a... There's an audio on TikTok that's like, Are we about to kiss right now? I no? don't know it. Why not? <laughs> it's... I, I'll send you one. I'll send you one. Thank you. Up close like this, I can count every freckle that dusts the bridge of her nose, her cheeks. Any tips? She swallows loudly, tongue flickering out to wet her, wet her <sighs> tongue flicking out to wet her plum-colored lips. You're gonna get lipstick on your teeth. I find myself transfixed by the that. movement. That would be cheating, wouldn't it? Her voice is low, raspy, and my well, hand myself. Well, shit, and I read that all forward. wrong. Yeah, do you want to do, do it again? <laughs> do you need me to? Yeah, do it. Low and raspy. <laughs> Low and raspy. That would be cheating, wouldn't it? There you go. How do I get out of here? Okay. <laughs> every, voice is every low. time we're, do we're gonna do this, I'm gonna fuck up and you're gonna be like, Hey, it needs to be sexier, and I'll be like, Okay, and then I'll do it and it will not be sexier. <laughs> her voice is low, raspy, and I feel myself leaning forward, helplessly drawn to her. The display comes to an end, the crowd cheering, clapping, but it's all drowned out for me. All I can see is her. Aww. Dang, this is nice. She closes her eyes, exhaling sharply. And then I wake up. We both tense, her eyes snapping open. What happened? Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no, what happened? In the distance rings out a terrible, gut-wrenching scream. Oh, no, what's happening? Hey, it's the gang. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to see in the next chapter. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, it's a Hang it's on, a I just want to... I miss my gang. We gotta save. I love them so much. Okay, so we're saving okay. this.